Charles Edenshaw was an exceptional carver who can be compared to the best of any culture. So it's not that he was the best of Northwest Coast art. I think he stands uh, with the best of artists around the world. The way he transformed materials such as argillite, wood, and silver to make Haida stories come alive uh, was magical. He lived from 1839 to 1920 and experienced the terrible effects of colonialism. He was my great-great-grandfather and uh, he was always such a, a big uh, thing in our minds, our family's mind. And uh, they would speak about the works. Uh, there was a few pieces around at home. And, uh, but really how it worked was all the pieces kind of disappeared to the rest of the world, the collectors and museums and such. And so if you wanted to see it, you'd have to go and visit. And so that's what we do at home. We leave the islands to see the pieces. Our grandfather was recognized for his work and uh, people that know Northwest Coast art knew about our grandfather because he's such a high, um, artistic type of fella. He would uh, create all this wonderful stuff. So if you see one of his pieces, you go and look at it, and there you are, you're going to school. So everyone would study it, the artists. And uh, this photo behind me is a real important photo. It uh, shows him sitting there as a young man, but it also shows him how he would hold his tools. And all these pieces here are a uh, reflection of uh, his work, and that identifies his work with him. This is a part of what, of what he had put out there in this world, and um, uh, I think it was a great medicine for him to do that because of the horror of uh, the smallpox epidemics and, and then meeting uh, a, a new world, new laws, new everything. And so.